Hi there, Renee Flamont here. I'd like to talk about karma, and a lot of people are always wondering, will my narcissist get theirs? Will they get their comeuppance, okay, so to speak? And the way I think of it is they already have the karma that they deserve. I believe in karma. It's not unreal. It's a real thing. And here's, here's why. If you look at the narcissist that you have, they're constantly, constantly in a state of anger, flux, self-hatred. Their lives are messy usually. That's all karma. There, very many of them are into substance abuse of some kind because they have to distract them from themselves because they have so much self-hatred. That's karma. Many of the ones that I know have no steady home to receive people. You're a grown man. You have grown children. They have children. You can't have a home, a steady place where you could say, come see me, everybody for Christmas. They're out living like a gypsy. Now you might say, my narcissist is very wealthy and he owns his own home and he looks like he sleeps well at night and he got married again and he looks happy and all of that could be true as well. But inside, the, the narcissist is always suffering and this, okay, in Buddhism they tell you that if you are someone that always wants for something more than what you have, you will eternally suffer. You'll eternally suffer. And I use the example of a neighborhood, okay? So if you know somebody who's a jealous type, and they or he or she is always wanting to keep up with the Joneses type of person, those people suffer constantly. And let, if they live here, but they see this neighborhood, and so-and-so just moved into that neighborhood, and I got to get into that neighborhood. Oh, my God. They're suffering constantly, not even enjoying their full, their house that they're in right now. They're missing life, just dying to get here. Boom, they move into this neighborhood. Now they're suffering because... They bought the starter home in the nice neighborhood. Now they want the nicest home in the neighborhood. And they are going to suffer for the next 10 years until they get that. There's always something else. When you read and study and grasp that, and in Buddhism we use the term enlightenment, they use the term enlightenment. I'm like a raised Catholic who should have been Jewish who's been reading Buddhism for 30 years. So I got all kinds of things going on. But in Buddhism, that's what they call enlightenment, is when you grasp that concept and you're able to sit in your own present place and be happy with what you have right now, then you don't suffer, right? If you think about it, the narcissist always must be suffering. It's a tumultuous ride of they want more money, they want new supply, they want to look better, they want a better this, a better that, da, ba, ba. they're always searching, always. So that is a perpetual state of suffering. And I mean suffering, it bothers them. Your success bothers them, any friend's success bothers them. Minnie's hoodie would bother them because she looks so cute. Anything. They are just bothered all the time. Now, you might say to yourself, and I hear people, well, he got a DUI, or he got, you know, arrested, or he got... Are those things karma? Mm, to me, those are proper legal and lawful reactions and consequences to something that they did that was unlawful. So they got what they had coming in terms of the law. Can you look at that as karma? Whatever. It doesn't, I don't really think of it that way. I think their daily self-hatred and they have no permanency to their life. You might be a young person, 23, 40, you know, 33, whatever. When you get to be my age, 53, and you're dating people 50s and 60s, it is nothing but sad when you look at somebody that has a life that's a mess. They have no permanent plus one. They don't have any um, steadiness to a relationship that they can have. Oh, here comes Renee and whoever. They don't have a whoever. They're always a different person, and they're going to visit friends. By this point, I have friends that are married 30, 20 years. A grown man that can't get it together enough to have a permanent partner and if they have a permanent partner you might say oh he got married again but uh, he's doing the same things to whomever he's with that's karma 
that's torturing himself and his own life because everybody knows it everybody sees it and he's constantly or she your pronoun please use we've talked about that before they just immerse themselves in a world of self-hatred and they're constantly hoping for something else something newer that is karma they're living it they're living their karma and it's awful you can get to a very peaceful place of loving your life and being happy and having good genuine friendships and having good genuine relationships with people healthy beautiful enduring permanent relationships are possible for you the victim the survivor it is never going to be possible for the narcissist that's karma there's nothing they can do to change I mean I guess we've talked about this before if they really wanted to and were willing to put in the work I'd like to think anyone can change but research shows that they do not because they don't want to change that's karma that they would want to live in that kind of life personally I wouldn't worry about karma they're living it every single day deep within themselves when they lay their head on the pillow and you might think well they don't regret they don't care well that's karma would you want to be that kind of person because eventually they'll look at their pattern and know that their life is a mess of course they will itchy nose today again get into a fight or kiss a fool they say but don't worry about karma they're already getting it every single minute they're getting it i promise